so earlier today for Jurassic World Dominion, there was a brand new promotional piece regarding the Gignotosaurus, and this is located in London. This has given us one of the most clear looks at this dinosaur so far. We obviously saw this dinosaur back in the prologue in the trailer, but this is a full appearance, and I do believe there are three things we can take away from this. Right off the bat, this dinosaur is almost a mix of the Indominus Rex and Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can just tell when you go back to Jurassic World that the Gignotosaurus had more of an influence than we ever knew. That dinosaur hybrid had Gignotosaurus DNA, but from what it did seem, that was only to enhance the size of this creature. However, now in videos like this, we can see how much this dinosaur actually influenced the Indominus Rex. It was not just the size, rather it's more so about the actual design. Now with that being said, it still does have its own unique elements. I think for a lot of people going into Jurassic World Dominion, we did not fully expect this dinosaur to look this way, especially the scales on its back and the shape of its skull. However, now after seeing all these TV spots and trailers, this design is actually very unique. It is something that a lot of people are going to enjoy. Then for the second thing to notice, this dinosaur is in the city, and based on what we know right now, that is somewhat ironic. As far as we are aware, the role of this dinosaur in Jurassic World Dominion is in one setting, and that setting is the Biosyn Valley. All of its sequences will take place there, and it will not be in the city environment or Malta. Now we could be wrong about that of course, but again based on what we have seen so far, it looks to be in one spot the entire film. So to see this dinosaur in the city environment, it is a much different look, and I think that's how it should be. Some dinosaurs should be there for the city setting, while other dinosaurs like the Therizontosaurus, Rexy, and the Gignotosaurus are in the Biosyn Valley. That is their specific setting. And then for the third and final takeaway, the cloning of Biosyn is very accurate. Relative to the prologue, this dinosaur is identical, and that is something we have been talking about for quite some time. Compared to InGen, they have now surpassed them. Their cloning is much more accurate, which is why they can clone dinosaurs with feathers. That is something InGen could not do for quite some time. So I think for the other dinosaurs in this film, we are going to see a much more accurate look. For all of you though, what do you think about this? What are your thoughts on the Gignotosaurus? Write all of your answers down below, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.